Welcome to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court building began operations in June 2005. Prior to this, we operated from the old Supreme Court building, which is now National Gallery Singapore. We will start off with the Heritage Gallery, which houses an introduction to the history of the judiciary, Singapore's legal system and the Supreme Court building. The following displays will give you an insight to the development of Singapore's legal system from our straight settlement days during the Japanese occupation from 1942 to 1945, during the merger with Malaysia from the 16th of September and eventually our independence on the 9th of August 1965. Here you will find information about the development of Singapore's legal system, the history of the Supreme Court building, as well as what goes behind the architecture of this nine-story building that houses over 20 courtrooms. The gallery also showcases judges that have served the Supreme Court over the years, as well as key milestones in the Supreme Court, such as abolishing the trial by juries in 1969 and in 1994, setting up of a permanent court of appeal, and the abolishment of appeals to the Privy Council in the United Kingdom. This photo wall features our former Chief Justices, who were an integral part of our judiciary. Chief Justice Wee Chong Jin was the first Singaporean and Asian to head the Singapore judiciary when he was appointed as Chief Justice in 1963. He held the position until his retirement in 1990. Chief Justice Yong Pung Hao was Singapore's second Chief Justice after independence. And prior to his judicial career, Chief Justice Yong was the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the Overseas Chinese Banking Corporation and held numerous public appointments. Chief Justice Yong was appointed Chief Justice in 1990 and he introduced a slew of measures transforming Singapore's judiciary into a world-class legal system. Chief Justice Chan Sekyong was Singapore's third Chief Justice after independence. He was also Singapore's first Judicial Commissioner in 1986, as well as third Attorney General in 1992. The current Chief Justice is Chief Justice Sundaresh Menon, who was appointed on the 6th of November 2012. He was also the 6th Attorney General of Singapore in 2010. Chief Justice Menon is the first Singapore-born Chief Justice. We will now take you through the Learning Court, which marks the next milestone in the Supreme Court's public education and outreach programs. It is an extension of the Supreme Court's use of innovation. With the Learning Court, the Supreme Court has created a virtual space where the court meets the classroom. Aimed primarily at students between the ages of 13 and 18, the Learning Court leverages on technology to engage, educate and entertain visitors. The Learning Court also provides a glimpse of legal history by showcasing interesting artifacts such as the seal machine and typewriter that were used in the past before the introduction of electronic filing. The Learning Court provides visitors the option of watching an enactment video of a criminal trial or participate in role plays within a criminal or civil mock trial. At critical junctures of the role play, the visitors will be asked to make decisions which will impact the sequence of events. The audience will be polled for their views prior to each decision point. Visitors also have the option of recording themselves participating in the various role plays. The Learning Court also has touch screen panels where visitors can learn about the life cycle of civil and criminal cases. It also has a photo booth that allows visitors to take instant photographs against different backdrops. Visitors can try on judges' gowns from different jurisdictions and take photographs at the photo booth, as well as print out a copy of the photograph as a souvenir of their experiences in the Learning Court. The Judicial Heritage Gallery was officially opened on the 6th of January 2020 and seeks to educate visitors, especially younger Singaporeans, on the essential role that the judiciary plays as a key institution in Singapore's legal and governance system. The Judicial Heritage Gallery houses five unique interpretive zones. Here, you can learn how the judiciary has evolved in tandem with Singapore's economic transformation and wider societal changes. Right before the entrance, there are portraits of our Chief Justices of the past and our current Chief Justice, Chief Justice Menon. 
Each of them has contributed greatly to the development and modernization of the judiciary. We will now enter the gallery. Motion sensors will detect human movement and activate three screens that will allow visitors to gain a better appreciation of the rule of law and the role of the three separate branches of government in Singapore. This interactive wall traces the evolution of the judiciary as well as features prominent cases in Singapore's recent history from 1965 to present day, such as the first virtual currency case involving B2C2 Limited and Coin Private Limited that was heard in the Singapore courts between 2019 and 2020. In this zone, we pay homage to the Chief Justices and Judges past and present for their crucial role in administering justice and upholding the rule of law. We also explore the rich traditions of the courts reflected through ceremonies and architecture and how they have adapted to modern times. These interactive screens allow visitors to try their hand at designing and co-shaping the courtroom of the future. Visitors can tap on the screens to input their thoughts on which technologies the courts can adopt in the year 2065, the year when Singapore celebrates 100 years of independence as well as in the year 3000, when the time capsule beneath the foundation stone at National Gallery Singapore, the former Supreme Court building, is to be opened. The time capsule contains newspapers dated on the 31st of March 1937 and currency from the Strait Settlements. Another aspect is the rule of law quiz, where we test the visitors' legal knowledge. Over here, we have samples of the wigs used by the judges, which are made out of horses' hair. The use of wigs was abolished in the 1990s, as they were not very practical in Singapore's warm climate. Also, these ceremonial maces were used by the court orderlies during the opening of the legal year procession as seen in the picture. We are now at the technology court. These electronic signages located outside each courtroom displays information on the presiding judge for the day as well as case details such as the case number and parties involved. Different groups of people enter the courtroom using different routes. The lawyers will enter through the council entrance. The lead counsel will be seated at the front while the assistant counsel will sit at the benches behind. For members of the public who would like to attend the trial, they will enter through the public entrance and sit at the public gallery. Members of the media enter through the same door as the public, but they are allowed to sit at the media gallery by the side of the courtroom. As for the accused persons in criminal cases, they will enter through a special lift only accessible by the prison officers and will be seated in the criminal dock throughout the hearing. The judge will enter through the secured area and sit on his bench at the front of the courtroom. The judge's secretary and court orderly occupy the seat in front of the judge's bench. Once you enter the courtroom, you will notice the projection screen which is used to broadcast case files, evidence and aid in video conferencing, which is used for hearings for special cases that witnesses are unable to attend. For example, witnesses who are sick, foreign expert witnesses who are too busy to come to Singapore, as well as vulnerable witnesses like victims in cases of rape and abuse. This visualizer is used to flash documents, evidence and items onto the projector screen for everyone to see. Cameras are strategically placed within the courtrooms to assist with transcription and video conferencing purposes. Each courtroom is equipped with microphones for audio recording. Parties can request for audio recordings of high court trials, or for transcripts of these and other trials commenced by writ. All courtrooms are also wireless enabled so that lawyers can do their research as the hearing continues. Welcome to the Court of Appeal, Singapore's highest court and the final level of appeals. All Court of Appeal cases are presided by at least three judges, whereas one judge presides during the hearings in the High Court. Instead of the secretary, the justice's law clerks will be seated in front of the judge to take notes and assist the judge. A special feature of the Court of Appeal is the timer on the two pillars. Based on the written submissions provided by the lawyers, the judges will allocate a specific amount of time for each case. However, there is no time limit given for criminal appeals. 
this system is implemented as the Court of Appeal doesn't sit every day and it therefore prevents lawyers from taking too much time, as well as help them focus their argument on the points of law. The viewing gallery is located at level 8, inside the first level of the disc. This open space overlooking Singapore's skyline is open for members of the public to soak in the view. The viewing gallery is also used for seminars and talks. We've now come to the end of our tour around the Supreme Court. We hope that you found it interesting and informative.